Hello there, this is part 3 of the uh, 3DX450 build with the uh, Alien Ad uh, Advance uh, the Alien Command Advance. Now uh, in the last video I've shown you the uh, how to uh, mount it on your helicopter Now I'll just run you through what I've done. If you look on the underside of this helicopter here uh, you see the uh, the unit there uh, I'll just bring the uh, up, so you can see I've mounted it under, under the bottom there and obviously used these Align uh, things to mount it. I mounted the infrared there and uh, run all the wires down the side of the helicopter. Uh, underneath the battery uh, tray you can see the, uh, the Alien Command there and run the infrared cable along the bottom uh, basically there along the bottom there goes up the back and into the unit. Now on this video we're going to be showing you how to calibrate it. Obviously in the background there you can see I have a hot radiator and it's, it's on I find that's a, a good way to test the unit. So the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure your transmitter is on. So if it's on, make sure your throttle hold is on or your motor is disconnected for this. Uh, make sure you turn the servo throw up as well. Also uh, whilst you're um, plugging the helicopter in, uh, we have the infrared button. Press this button in whilst connecting the battery. It's a bit difficult, uh, but once once you connect the power, you should see three twitches like that. That means we're in setup mode. Now, what that means, only a few of these uh, infrared units are active, uh, one or two. So, if I press this one here, so whatever one you press. It should go in the opposite direction to the helicopter, or vice versa. So I know if I put my hand there, the swash will move away. So basically, uh, the earth is warm, so if you're heading down towards the earth, basically, the swash will go in the opposite direction where you're putting it. So this side works, this side don't. To change the um, what sensors you use, if you press the calibration button again, and we'll watch the, the swash plate, it'll change. So now these are active, left and right. And basically what you do, there's a number of switches on the alien command, and you see you get these right. So we know that this one here is going in the opposite direction. Press it again, and now this one here goes in the opposite direction. Press it again, we know this one here, we sense out around this side, if you can see, just move the blade so you can see, so we know that this sensor here uh, makes the swash move in the opposite direction. Now once you're happy with this, uh, you only can turn the switches on in the setup mode. If you switch the switches when it's not in setup mode, they won't work. So make sure you switch the switches in setup mode. Once you're happy with the complete setup and you're happy with the swash moving around uh, quite happily, uh, another way to check it is just to disconnect the system, turn it off, reconnect the system so we're not in setup mode, we're in normal, uh, normal mode. So, uh, as you can see, the infrared's working already. Now what we'll do now, is if I just move the camera uh, towards uh, the radiator, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what we are actually looking out for. So we have the uh, radiator here, and if I bring the helicopter in, The swash moves away. If I turn the helicopter this way, the swash wouldn't wants to move away again. And if I turn the helicopter all the way round, you can see the swash would want to move away again. So if I move the, the helicopter, if I move the infrared close to the radiator, you can see the swash wants to move away always in the opposite direction as the heat source. So that's a way to check 
So we can basically go in setup mode. Uh, you know what's the wrong way around, and uh, you can correct it. So that is basically um, the way to set up the infrared sensors. So uh, this is only a short video. Uh, the next one will be flying it. Uh, hopefully the weather will clear up soon. There's a lot of snow out, and uh, once uh, once the snow's cleared and the weather's nice, uh, we'll be taken out the side and we'll we'll start the flight calibration before we uh, test fly the system. So uh, thanks for watching uh, my videos, and if you've got any questions, please reply. Or if you're not sure, uh, go to www.sportsmoto.co.uk for further questions. So thanks for watching my videos, and goodbye.